Good morning, friends and colleagues. It's the last day here at the ITI Symposium. We had an amazing night last night at the beach party and everyone's a little bit tired, but we're all about to head back in for the important information on peri-implantitis. So hopefully we'll see you in the lectures. What do you think about the format with the patient videos? How much added value was there in your opinion? Well, I think it was amazing. It was great because in the end you see also the patient's perspective where the direction of our uh, research and also like our focus is on. So it's really always nice to hear what the patients think about our papillas, our surgeries and everything. So it's, uh, it, it gave another perspective and I really liked that. For me, the highlight of this event, of my presidency, is this opportunity to meet the global community. And I'm so thrilled when people come up and quite spontaneously introduce themselves and give feedback. And of course, it's even better when they also say, no, I really mean it, it's fantastic, we're really happy. We're backstage again. As the conference comes to a close, we're heading to the most exciting part, and that's the award ceremony. In front of me here, we've got the World Young ITI Series winner. The votes are coming in, and we can't wait to see what happens. These people are the future of the ITI. What is next for the ITI on a global stage? The ITI is always conducting something somewhere almost every day around the world. But of course, the next will be World Symposium. It will be in Milan and we start the planning tomorrow.